So you walk outside this morning. Yes. And you barely need a jacket. It's like right. one of those nice fall mornings yes. that are just really comfortable, right? Mm -hmm. Kids going off to school may need a light jacket, okay. but today, another hot one. Yesterday was so hot. I, I'm sorry. I'm complaining a little bit. <laughs> it was sort of like, why? Why? Kind of like it made me, me grumpy. Yeah. yeah, in the winter, you're like, when is summer going to right. get here? And then we get to summer, and you're like, okay. That's enough. Autumn. That's let's enough. do this. Yeah. All right, let's get to those uh, radars, I okay. guess. What am I talking about? Screenshots. Here we go. <laughs> Graphics. 67 degrees right now in Albuquerque. Good morning to you, New Mexico. We're starting here at 447. Like I was mentioning, another sunny day here. Our last one, though, before we get more monsoon moisture. High pressure now pushing east into Texas. What that means for us is that the dry, sunny weather all going to expire today. Tomorrow, midday even, we're going to see some spots get some rain showers, thunderstorms. We have a lot of rain moving into our area, so you can be ready for some of those heavy downpours like what we saw earlier in the summer. Also, some hail, high winds. We need to watch for flash flooding, too. A lot of this moisture coming up from the south, those tropical storms kind of edging New Mexico and really helping with that monsoon surge. You can see the impressive storm totals that we're expecting by Tuesday, those heavier colors moving over the metro, which is good news. We need the rain. We're expecting a whole lot of rain in Albuquerque tomorrow. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, on into next week. Cold front moves in for the weekend. That means temperatures do cool down for Saturday and Sunday. So just know that as of tomorrow, we start to see the rain. Then comes the cooler temperatures, and the chances of rain and storms will continue into next week. For today, though, hot temperatures, like we were just saying, 98 degrees in Carlsbad. We have 96 in Artesia. Move up to Rudo, so we're looking for 85. No rain expected today, but again, into tomorrow, could start to see some of those isolated storms. Close to 100 degrees in Deming, Las Cruces, hot today in Socorro. We're looking for 60s overnight tonight into tomorrow. Midday tomorrow is when we're expecting some of those scattered showers. We're looking for 80s across the I-40 corridor, a little bit breezy just west of Gallup toward the Arizona uh, border. 90 in Chinlay, we can see Shiprock, about 93 today. Mostly sunny skies do continue into tomorrow. Then the rain hits for Thursday night going into Friday. 87 in Santa Fe today. We have 79 in Chama, a little bit smoky up there because of the Pino fire up toward the Jemez. So just know that you might be waking up some of those hazy skies. You might smell it a little bit. 94 in Española today. Things should be getting better, though. Conditions improving for that fire. As we continue into next week, we're expecting more rain. Santa Rosa, Las Vegas, Moriarty, all looking for 80s and 90s today. So again, another hot day. Humidity moves in for our Friday afternoon, and then again, more showers are expected Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and it's really the same for the Valley locations. Here's your 70 forecast, and you can see 90s do continue today into tomorrow. Chances of storms for our Thursday, our Friday, into the weekend. Wouldn't say you need to cancel any outdoor plans just yet, but if they are in the afternoon or evening hours, just be prepared. You may need to move things indoors. A little bit cooler. Looking forward to it Monday and Tuesday only in the low 80s. Marissa? I'm looking forward to that for sure. Thank you very much. Time